No, it can't be true. My little sister killed a man. Take it back, Jessica. Take it back. What? Oh. I tried to convince myself that it wasn't true. My little girl. Daddy. So this murdered person at that horrible hotel, you... Yes. It was me. I did it. I did it. Just no, baby, spread it. It'll be all right. No, it won't. I did it. I did it. Hey, it's got to be like I said, right? It was self-defense, right? No, Jess, I Jess, didn't. try to calm down. I'll try. Make your sister something to eat. God knows when she ate last. You still like peanut butter, right? Yeah. Was this Spike? No. Well, if it wasn't Spike, then who was it? Jessica, honey, listen to me. I'm trying to help you, because this doesn't look good. Now, if you killed that man in self-defense, then why did you run? Why did you try to cover your own tracks? <laughs> Jessica, honey, answer me. If you killed this man tonight in self-defense, then why did you try to cover your tracks? Mr. Bennett, listen to me. You're jumping to conclusions here. What? She just confessed to a murder. No, she didn't. Simone, are you hearing things? She said she did it. No, you misunderstood. She couldn't have killed anyone. She was with me tonight. At the club. So you said. It's true. Is it? Or were you with her in the room tonight? Helping her cover up her crime. That's aiding and abetting, Simone. That means you're just as guilty as she is. And that means you're going to jail, too. Were you the one who helped Jessica cover up a murder tonight? No. Were you her accomplice? No, she didn't kill anyone. And Simone, come on, we just heard her confess. No, you didn't. She just said she did it. You can't believe a word Jessica says. She took drugs tonight. She's still stoned. I mean, she barely knows what she's saying. If she wasn't involved in this murder, then what was she confessing to? Well, you were talking about the blood on the burned clothes outside. That's it. The blood. Jessica was admitting that she got blood on her clothes. Right, Jess? You're admitting that you got blood on your clothes, but it didn't come from some dead guy, did it? You're innocent of murder. Innocent? Go on. Tell your dad you're innocent. Jess, tell your dad she didn't kill anyone. She's so stoned she can't even talk. She looks pretty sober to me. But you misunderstood. You got mixed up, right? You were telling him that you got blood all over your own clothes. Nice. If the blood didn't come from the murder victim, Jessica, then where did it come from? How did you get blood all over your clothes? And why did you try to burn them in the backyard? I... Well, it sure sounds like you're trying to cover up something to me. It, all, all right, Chief. She didn't want to tell you. But I found out, and she swore me to secrecy. And I now realize I should have told you, and I'm sorry. What the heck are you talking about? Jessica. She's been cutting herself again. Oh, no. And she's tried hard to stop, but her life got out of control. It's that damn spike. Yes. 
Yes, and, and she tried her very best to get away from him, but he wouldn't let her. He has such power over her. It's those damn drugs he gives her. That's right. And, and she knows it's wrong, but she can't stop. And she feels so guilty, and that's why she's a cutter. Nice try, Simone. But no one's going to believe this. And she realized that Spike is such a bad influence on her, and she was ready to make the big move to come home. And, and then she cut herself and got blood all over her clothes and, and freaked out. She knew if you and Ivy saw it, you might yell at her or send her to a treatment center. She couldn't handle it. She just wanted to come home without everybody judging her. Hey, hey, we would never judge you, Squirt, all right? We just want you to get better. Is any of what Simone says true? I, I will, I... Is this blood on this fabric yours? from you cutting yourself? Yes. Yes, Simone's right. I cut myself again. God, I hope you're telling the truth. Let me see your arms. What? Hey, leave me alone. Jessica, if you've been cutting yourself and the blood on this fabric is yours, then why don't you have fresh cuts? I'll tell you what I think. I think that you and your pal Simone are lying through your teeth. And that you really are guilty of murder. Now come on, Jess. It is time for the truth. Look at me. Now, if you're supposed to have been cutting yourself again, then where are all the fresh cuts? Where's all the blood supposed to have come from? Don't yell at her. She's moved way past her arms. Please, stop. Oh, my God. Jess, what are you doing to yourself? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. See, you should have believed us before. She, she is innocent. She has to be, all right? She's been hiding the fact that she's been mutilating herself. See, so she didn't kill anybody. You couldn't, could you? Ever. Do you believe us now? Oh, I'm sorry we doubted you, Jess. This must have been really awful for you. Poor baby. Did he buy it? How did Simone learn how to be such a great liar? You're not saying anything, Dad. Come on, they've explained everything. Mm -hmm. The blood on that piece of fabric came from the cuts on Jessica's stomach. And we burned my clothes so no one would find out. Come on, Jess. Let's get you upstairs. Wait a minute. I'm sorry to hear that you've been cutting yourself again. I really am. But that doesn't explain everything. Why not? Because of this. What, what is it? It's an earring that I found at the crime scene tonight. Right next to the dead body. Your earring, Jessica. One of the earrings I gave you for your 16th birthday. How do you explain this? You said you had nothing to do with the John's murder tonight. If that's true, then what was your earring doing at the crime scene? <laughs>